I'm Colleen and I teach preschool in a Head Start classroom. My assistant Kelly and I have 18 preschoolers, ages 3 to 5 years old. I see a bee. I see a root. All of the children in my classroom love doing science activities, but they are all different in terms of their ages, abilities, interests, and backgrounds. So we have to be flexible in finding ways to support everyone's science learning. What is this? A plant. We started our plant and seed exploration at circle time. And the stem is like a big straw. I talked to the children to try to get a sense of their knowledge, interests, and questions about plants. Where do you think the buds are on the plant? Here. Yeah. After circle time, we moved on to more independent exploration. We tried to give the children as many choices as possible. They can get dirty planting, watering, and digging, or create art with beans and seeds. From reading about plants at our book center, to going outside and exploring the plants and trees in our yard, we tried to provide them the freedom to follow their own interests which makes it more likely they will become engaged in the science. What do they smell like? This freedom to explore can sometimes be overwhelming. One of the boys in my class had never really looked closely at a plant before, so I asked him simpler questions. I, are all the flowers the same? No? Are they different? Yeah, but this is not different to that one. How are they the same? Because it has the same colors. What color? He also has an interest in math, so I made sure to incorporate it into our exploration. Now I wonder, which one is the tallest? You think that one? Can we measure it? Yeah. Oh, you measured right over to this bud. It hasn't blossomed yet. It hasn't bloomed into a flower. One of my children had more experience with plants, so I decided to give her a challenge. Can you find me three different plants? Yes. And take a picture of them? Yes. This led to some great conversations. I took a picture. What did you notice? The plant. What do you think's underneath this concrete? Soil. I think there's soil under there and the plant is starting to poke up? Yes. You want to go look at the other plants around? Yeah. Let's see what other plants we can find. Why did you take a picture of this plant? It does look pretty. How would you describe these leaves? This one has white and green. Because it's different because it has white and green. Here, put your hand through. Taking pictures was also a great way to get my youngest child involved without the pressure of being in a big group. Awesome. One. And because all of his classmates were engaged in our other activities, I could continue to explore with him at his own level. It takes a little bit of extra work and creativity to figure out how to inspire all of the different children in my care. But seeing them so excited and engaged makes it all worth it.